Tips and Tricks to Survive Quarantine Yes, this video would have been more relevant if it came out when we first went into quarantine or lockdown. But back then, we were quite excited about not going to physical classes. With how things are right now, there's a good chance we will still be having online classes in 2021, even with vaccines rolling out. So here are some tips and tricks that could help you if you haven't been able to cope or hold yourself accountable, because I know I didn't. Get organized. Being home all the time will make it hard for you to distinguish the boundaries between your personal life and your work or school life. If you're able to, set a specific space for your studies and do not do anything that is not steady in that space. So you know how to engage and disengage. The invisible boundary can go a long way. And be strict with your schedule. Use a planner and find a system that works for you, whether it's digital or analog. This can help you hold yourself accountable. Get things done. Whatever that you need to do, get it done. While it might be daunting to hear that, it is true that you do have to get things done. Don't leave those dishes in the sink. They will only make you feel bad once you wake up tomorrow. And the dusty floors will only annoy you. Fold the laundry and clean out your closet. Fold your clothes properly. When you get smaller tasks done, it makes you feel good for a little bit. And later, it forces you to take things into your own hands and maybe get the assignments or revise those chapters for finals. Do something physical. Wherever you are, dorm room or back home, it's probably very tempting to just stay in bed with your laptop on the side, binging the latest Netflix show, or cry over Mindhunter not getting a season 3. But no, you have to move around, even if it's just to make food. If you have space available, take advantage of it. Go out and jump ropes, or just light stretching can help you keep in shape now that we're all limited in movements. Have a dance party, anything that keep you from losing your mind or muscle mass. Stay connected. Choose your fighter, texting, calling, or video games, whatever that is, stay connected to your friends. If you already are doing that, good. On the other hand, if you really can't come up with anything to talk about, be honest and tell them that you really don't know what to talk about, but still want to talk. Everyone has been experiencing more brain farts recently, and it's okay to not know how to interact with people anymore. Just make sure to clearly communicate that. Get cooking. Having a lot more time at home means a lot of free time because we're just not sure of what to do. So why not fill the time up with cooking or baking if you have the materials? It doesn't have to be anything fancy. If you're making something nice for yourself, you're doing great, sweetie. Cooking can be therapeutic and help you. It could just be a simple spiced up ramen or trying a new recipe you found online. Pick up a new hobby. Stimulation is key during these trying times and what better way to keep yourself engaged than learning skills that you've always wanted to learn but just didn't have the time. Learn a new language. Go back to that online tutorial you kept in your watch later playlist. Simply picking up an unfinished project or start a new one. It's a great way to distract yourself from plague holding us hostage. Study. You probably don't want to be studying especially in December. But it is important that you do study and keep cultivating your mind. Study the things that you like. You into films? Study your favorite director. You want to learn how to code? Now is a great time to just dabble into new things. Focus on mental health. This might be a no-brainer, but it is important that we mention it. Most often than not, people tend to avoid talking to their friends about it too in fear of being a burden to them or fearing they wouldn't understand what is mental health to Asian families anyway, right? But that's why it's important for you to take time for yourself and to take care of yourself, physically and mentally. Eat healthy, get supplements if you need, make sure you're in tip-top shape in order to tackle this career world. Meditation is a go-to exercise, but some of us might prefer to go run outside or go kickboxing to release some of that frustration. Go and do something that makes you feel good mentally, just don't go hurt or force anything on anyone. As a Sunway student, you have access to Sunway Education Counseling and Wellness or Sunway Peer Counseling Volunteers if you want to talk to someone your age. If you're feeling uneasy or just want to talk to someone, we've left the contacts to the services in the description below. The most important thing, however, is that you give yourself a break. Don't hold yourself to an impossible standard of living or aesthetics. Right now, life everywhere is weird and plans are always changing out of our control. Everything is uncertain. We can only hope things will get better for the world. Until then, let's stay positive and get through this together.